Are you looking for a way to record what's on your computer screen without having to pay for expensive software? I've got the solution for you. It's Screencast-O-Matic. <laughs> Screencast-O-Matic is 100% free software that you can use to record your Google Slides presentation. And actually, it comes with some pretty cool features for being a free software. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the software, how to set it up so you're recording the audio and the video properly, and what to do when you're done recording. Welcome to the channel, my name is Steve, and I like to teach people free software for free. If you're interested in how to use Google Docs, Slides, and Sheets, consider subscribing. I try to put out a video at least once a week to help keep your skills sharp. Now before we get into this tutorial, I want you to know that I'm running this on a Windows 10 computer. If you're using a Mac to do this, all the steps should be the same. So let's get into it. The first step is to go to screencastomatic.com and create a free account. I'll put a link in the description below and I'll show you the spelling on the screen here so you get it right. After you've created your free account, you're going to see a screen similar to what I'm seeing right now. I want you to go up and hit the Start Recorder button. And what that's going to do, if this is your first time using this, is it's going to install software so that you can use the screen recorder properly. Now I don't want you to be afraid of installing this. It's not going to install any bloatware or malware or anything like that. It's just going to install the software you need to record your screen. We're going to follow the steps step by step so that we install this properly. On the bottom of the screen here, we see a message that says Get Recorder Launcher. So we're going to click the Download Launcher button right there. It's going to say Download Started, and then we see our download has started. Depending on the browser you're using, you may need to go on your file system and find the install file that you just downloaded. In Google Chrome, I'm going to click right on this icon here. And now we're going to walk through the steps for installing the Screen Recorder Launcher. It shouldn't take very long at all. There we go. Done. We're going to click OK. Click the Try Again link on the bottom of the screen. This should then open a pop-up that says Open Screen Recorder Launcher V2.0. We're going to click that button there. A little bit more setup. If you have a drink handy, I suggest taking a swig. So now the screen recorder is launched on our computer. And we know that because we see this bounding box on our screen that's black and white and shows you the record area for the software. Now if we want to record the entire area of our screen, we're going to go onto the size button that we see here. We're going to click the arrow pointing to the right and we're going to click full screen. We also have the options of recording in 480p or just the active window. We're going to do full screen and this is going to ensure that the entire screen gets recorded. Unfortunately, we can't set the max time higher than 15 minutes unless we use the paid version of the software, which we can do, and I'll put a link in the description below if you want to do that option. However, you really don't need to do that. You can record multiple takes and then stitch them together in an editing program later. For narration, if you have an external microphone you want to use, you can hit the dropout arrow and choose that microphone. Once you click default microphone, you're going to get a sound tester to pop up on the screen. And you'll know that your microphone is working if you see the green meter bouncing to the right. You can also record a test sample here, which I'll do right now. This is a test recording. I'll click play. Now, this is a test recording. And we hear the recording playback play. just fine. I'm going to click OK. It seems like everything's working properly. One other limitation with the free version of the software is that we cannot record the computer audio, meaning if we have any sound effects in our presentation, Screencast-O-Matic is not going to record that unless we pay for the full version. And that's fine, it really is unnecessary. We can add the sound effects later if we choose to edit. The Preferences screen really doesn't have anything except for editing shortcuts, which you see here. I'm going to leave these as the default because I really don't want to mess around with these, so I'll click Cancel. The last option I want to show you is if you want to record more than just your screen, let's say you have a webcam that you also want to record at the same time, then we can set those options up as well. I'm going to select the Both option here on the top of the menu. And then I'm going to select which webcam I want to use. The only one I have right now is the integrated one with my computer. So I'll click that, and as you can see, I'm starting to record my screen. I also have the option here to flip horizontal if I choose to do so. I'm going to click Cancel. And we see that my webcam is positioned on the bottom right of the screen. But I really don't want to do that, so I'm going to go back to screen. If we want to choose to record just the webcam, we can also choose just the webcam option as well. I'm going to hit recording, and we're ready to go. You're going to get a little countdown here before the recording actually starts. So I recommend giving yourself a little bit of leeway at the beginning of your presentation 
letting the screen capture software run for about 10 seconds, and then head on over to Google Slides to set up your presentation. So I've got my Google Slides how to add voiceover presentation loaded here. What I want to do is I want to hit the present button. This is going to fill my entire screen with my Google Slides presentation. I can use my keyboard arrows or my mouse to run through my presentation as I would any regular Google Slides presentation. Once I'm done with my Google Slides presentation, I can hit the escape key on my keyboard to go back to my window. Now I want to stop Screencast-O-Matic from recording my screen. So I'm going to go over here to the bottom left corner and hit that pause button. This stops Screencast-O-Matic from recording. If I'm happy with the recording and I don't want to record anymore, I can hit the done key. If I made a mistake and I want to go back and record, I can hit the trash can button and that's going to delete everything so that I can start over. And I'm actually really happy with how this presentation turned out. There's no additional changes I want and no more recording that I want to do. So I'm going to hit the Done button. Screencast-O-Matic is going to ask what I want to do next. And I'm going to recommend for you that I always save and upload my video first. I don't want to edit anything yet. I don't want to quick share anything yet. I just want to save my file to make sure that everything I recorded doesn't get lost. After this window pops up, I'm going to move my mouse over to the right and I'm going to click Upload to Screencast-O-Matic. This is cool because Screencast-O-Matic actually gives you some cloud storage space that you can use to store all your recordings. You can also save as a video file directly on your computer or upload to YouTube if you choose. So I'm going to click Upload to Screencast-O-Matic. There are some settings I can update here. So I want to upload this to the account that I just created. I can change the title of this recording to be whatever I want it to do. So I'm going to choose Screencast Demo. Hit enter. I don't want to have any description. There's no specific channel that I want to update, and I don't want to password protect this recording. One of the coolest features of Screencast-O-Matic is that it lets you actually highlight the cursor during your presentation. So if you are using your mouse to point to things on your presentation, you can choose Highlight Cursor, and that's going to put some yellow highlighting on the video file so that when you play back the presentation, it's clearer to see where the mouse is in the presentation. You can also choose no cursor or just cursor so that there is no highlighting either, but I'm going to keep highlight cursor. Everything else I'm going to leave as is and hit the publish button. This is going to upload the video file to Screencast-O-Matic and it's going to save it on my cloud storage space. Keep that drink handy so you can take another swig. After the upload is finished, this screen is going to pop up and I want to choose open upload. This is going to take me to the Screencast-O-Matic website so that I can see my video file here. This is my recording, and from here, we can choose what we want to do with this recording. I'm going to hit the playback button and show you what that highlight cursor looks like, because I think that's one of the coolest features of Screencast-O-Matic being free software. As you can see, as this cursor moves across the screen, there's a yellow highlight around the cursor. So that's the coolest part of this software, in my opinion, because you don't really get this kind of level of uh, features in software that you're getting for absolutely free. I'm going to click pause in the video. From this point, we can choose to share the video, download the video, or do any number of things. If we want to download this video file, we're going to choose this link embed link at the top of the screen. This window is going to pop up and give us some sharing options for how we want to share this video. We can select this direct link and then copy it and then send that via email or our messaging apps or text message to send a direct link to our recording so that others can view it. We can also create a custom link if we want. But the feature I'm going to recommend for you is to click Download MP4. And this is going to download a video file directly to your computer. Now what I like to do with these files is download the MP4 and then bring them into another video editing software that I already own and stitch together my video recordings. This is cool because I don't have to worry about the 15 minute limitation. I can use the software I already have and I can record my screen for free. So this is a huge win for me. So now I'm going to click Done, and what I want to do is I want to go to see all of my screen recordings here. I'm going to click on my My Videos button, and this is going to bring me to my cloud storage where all of my screen recordings are loaded and saved. This is why I like to upload directly to Screencast-O-Matic because everything gets saved here. I don't have to worry about using hard drive space or where the files ended up. Everything is here safe and sound. 
And that's basically it with Screencast-O-Matic. You get a bunch of features with free software that you don't normally get with free software. And it lets you save the files on somebody else's computer so that you don't have to worry about saving them on yours. And then you can download the files as you need them. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you found it helpful and think others would, please share this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more tutorials on using docs, slides, and sheets, consider subscribing. That's it for this episode. I'm Steve. I'll see you next time.